everyone and welcome in. I hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Pisces private eye reading for the month of June 2021. In this message, we're first going to tap into the energies with the Romance Angel deck. See what's challenging this, the you versus them. Then we are going to tap a little bit deeper into your person's energy here Pisces and we are going to look into your person's true intentions how they're feeling about the situation how they're feeling about you at this time their next steps are going to be moving forward and any advice guidance from spirit I'll clarify throughout as well as pull a few oracle cards at the end if it's something you guys are interested in you're more than welcome in joining us so let's see here Pisces what we can see for you guys for June 2021. Please and thank you. Most important message here for Pisces Spirit. What does Pisces need to see? Pay attention to red flags. Letting go of control issues. Heart to heart conversation. Pisces. This is a very cautionary tale, it's seeming, okay? I feel here there is an energy, and I know that this is hard. Um, this tarot business is hard because sometimes we'll get messages that it's a twin flame soulmate energy, which is exactly what we want to hear. And sometimes we'll get an energy of this isn't the one, okay? And having that understanding, Pisces, that using your own intuition as well as having that clearance and that um, extra insight into your personal situation will help to clarify any of the energies but i feel here pisces that there is a, a situation here that you are involved in that has become very toxic and i do feel an energy of maybe staying for the children Okay, or trying to heal this connection for the children. I do feel like there may be potential for those of you that are in a normal, healthy type of a connection. We're not talking about an abusive situation, but there is an, an issue here with your person maybe trying to have too much control or um, even Part of, a form of trying to have control over the situation is also by withholding energy. Okay, so it's not only about maybe demanding things from you or telling you what you need to do. Sometimes it's like subliminal, right? But your person here is being called to let go of the control issues. I also feel a need here to say that if you don't feel like this is working, and the only reason why you see yourself staying with this person is for the children and you're in that energy of oh when they're 18 i'll move on and find the person that i meant to be with that's fine okay if you choose that path however i call you to seek higher vibration okay find something that you truly enjoy somebody who you can truly be around now, I'm not saying disconnect from this person completely either. If there's children involved, you can't. However, don't only stay for the children. So let's tap a little bit deeper into these energies here, Pisces. Please keep in mind, guys, that the messages here on YouTube are general. They're not going to resonate every time with every person. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title resonating, there's most likely going to be something in the message for you. Trust your gut. Trust your intuition when watching these messages. If it's not resonating at all or you're questioning, then it's not meant for you, okay? You're going to know because it's going to hit you, okay? For more information on energy cleanse kits, personal readings, extended versions, it's all linked below in the description box. And Pisces, if you like the vibe or how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. Pisces I feel like there is something new that's on the brink now for a lot of you this isn't a person who you've met yet this is an energy of 
a new person coming in. Now, I want to say, because a lot of people try to read into tarot, tarot cards isn't only about what the meaning of the cards are. It's also about the energy that's being picked up. It's also about the intuition, okay? But I do feel here, Pisces, that there is something energy energetically that's trying to shift in your life, okay? What I feel here, Pisces, is what's hidden, okay? Five of Cups. So the Five of Cups energy is the past holding you back whether this is energetically or otherwise. I do feel here, Pisces, that this connection has run its course, okay? So let's tap in. I have the Two of Pentacles, Three of Swords on your person side. There is an energy of staying for the children. Pisces. You could be married to this person. I do feel an energy of a very deep connection here, okay? But there's a lot of indecisive energy. Somebody is going to have to open up emotionally and there's something here that's being hidden. Pisces. And we're going to clarify all of this here in a minute. You're coming out as the Two of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. I feel like you're up in the air about whether you want to walk away or stay. Should I stay or should I go? Your person here is in the Three of Swords, the Hierophant energy. I feel like this is calling to the energy of maybe they play the blame game. They probably try to put their energy, that betrayal energy on you. Like you betrayed this connection. I thought you were going to be there forever. We're married. We have kids. Okay. Pisces, you're going to have to make a decision here. And I know this is going to be a tough decision, but I feel like there's a, there's a calling to put your head over your heart. Be practical with how you proceed. Um, trust your intuition, guys. That is so important in all aspects of life. So let's clarify. This Ten of Cups, this full energy, because there's a new connection that's coming in, Pisces, or there's there's a new energy that's trying to break through that the past is really holding you back, okay? You have the Six of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles. This could have been somebody from your past. This is definitely a person who you're going to have an intense connection with. So this is a person when you meet this person or if you've already met this person, they've kind of swept you off your feet. Now I understand with the full energy, there is a cautionary tale of looking before you leap. Paying attention to the red flags is going to be important. But just have an understanding, Pisces, that you've gone through a tough time already in your life. And you're not going to repeat those cycles again. So you need to trust the process. Don't be afraid that this pattern is going to repeat. The only reason why a pattern or a cycle will repeat itself is the lesson or multiple lessons need to be learned. Let's clarify the two of pentacles. Ten of swords for Pisces energy here, please and thank you. I feel here, Pisces, you're walking away. I feel like for a long time you've been up in the air, you've been indecisive about this. For some of you, this may include getting a divorce, okay? It's going to be difficult to end because there's a lot of obstacles, a lot of challenges, a lot of hoops that you may have to jump through in order to really fully complete this process. However, I feel like there is a lot of lessons that you are going to learn through this process and i feel here pisces that the, there is no better time than now especially if the situation this is becoming um emotionally abusive or even physically it's time to walk away and i do feel that energy here coming through in this reading okay for some of you this may be an abusive type of a situation so if that is resonating with your situation, please be mindful of how you leave, okay? Because that can be the most dangerous part of 
that type of a relationship is when a person decides to exit. That's normally when the relationship gets the most toxic. Now, trust me, guys, I'm only speaking from personal experience. I do recommend that if you are in an abusive relationship, do reach out to somebody within your community. Don't reach out to a nationwide hotline. Don't reach out to some generic uh, number that's in a description box of a YouTube video. I call you to reach out to somebody locally or somebody within your regional area that you can get immediate help with, okay? However this is resonating for you, Pisces, be strategic with how you proceed. Put yourself first in this situation if this has become toxic or too much, right, too draining. You're going to know vibrationally if something's meant for you, things are just going to flow, things are going to be easy. Things aren't meant to be in your life or on your path. If there's going to be a lot of resistance, okay, you're going to know. Let's clarify the Three of Swords, the Hierophant, for your person's energy here, Pisces. I don't see this person wanting you to walk away. I feel like this person wants you to stay. They want you to stay around. They feel a very deep connection. I also feel like this has become very toxic. The, the lovers is coming out in the reverse with the page of rods, page of wands. Trust the process here, Pisces. I know this is a difficult message. This can be very triggering for some of you. This is also a very difficult energy to move through, okay? You need to understand that your intuition takes priority over everything. You can hear my voice cracking because somebody's trying to block the message. However, you have to trust your intuition here, Pisces, because I feel like a lot of you have let the children or the blame game hold you back. Not anymore. Okay? It's time to move forward. It's not only going to be beneficial for you, but it'll also be beneficial for your children. Take a step back. Okay, go within. Okay, um, four, of, four of Pentacles, Hermit energy. Take a step back, withhold your own energy. Focus on your career, your coins. Try to gain that internal clarity on how you feel about this. Um, what your perception of all of this is. Look at the facts, be very practical. Um, understand that sometimes we can get caught up in our head, in emotions, in thinking. It's, it can be very draining as well. Um, so try to take your mind off of the situation if you find that it's becoming overwhelming. Okay, I also feel like this may be very draining on your pockets, especially if there's legal fees, things along those lines. I do feel like this is an energy of it's time to move forward. It's time to put yourself first, okay? If you have been in a toxic connection, if somebody has been very toxic, very controlling, and you don't see things changing for the better, maybe the best thing to do for everybody involved at this time is to take a step back, not necessarily run away with the next person, but do some inner work, inner healing work and question and then come back with this person and at least um, give them the opportunity for closure. I do feel an energy here, Pisces, of this person trying to hold on. So let's tap a little bit deeper into their energies. If you found this message has been helpful, that it's resonating with your situation so far, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated. It does help with the growth of the channel, getting the message out there. So thank you guys so much for that. You're all freaking amazing. See what your person's true intentions are moving forward here. For the month of June, for Pisces, please and thank you, Spirit. Pisces, person's true intentions moving forward. <laughs> Magician in the reverse. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. My way or the highway. It's my way or the highway. They may even express that they have other people that are willing to do what they want them to do. 
that's fine. Go with them then. I feel here an energy here, Pisces. This person is definitely not trying to work together. This person is trying to manipulate, trying to control the situation. Possibly when the magician is in the reverse, this is a dark magic card. So a lot of times this person can be playing tricks. They can also be energetically trying to pull you in or maybe even in the worst case scenario doing certain type of magic to keep you tied. Okay, so pay attention here. Pay attention. I feel here, Pisces, this is the next steps is going to be an ending. There's going to be a very significant ending, though. This is going to be, it's going to be very tumultuous. So be prepared, be ready. I feel like maybe having a bag packed or start sneaking things out and hiding, you know, having a storage, something along those lines, having a backup plan. Okay, the page of wands with the tower. Have a plan have a plan on how to move forward because I feel like this person is going to be in this energy of my way or the highway Pisces and if you don't do what they want you to do proceed how they want you to proceed they're going to boot you so if you live with this person things along that line I would be very cautious at this time I do feel like this person may hold a lot of power over your situation and that's why you're in this energy Where is this all headed? Where is this all headed for Pisces? Okay. Justice, Seven of Wands, Two of Swords. Well, Pisces, being prepared is going to be key. Having a backup plan is going to be key. Okay. I do feel an energy that this may come to an end sooner than you think. This may also be very shocking when this happens. And I feel here there's definitely a need to be prepared here, Pisces. Okay. I do see something new coming your way. Okay. I do see a new energy coming in. You may miss the opportunity by going through all of this. But if you can just find the inner peace, the inner balance. I know it's easier said than done. It's worth a try. It's worth a shot. Understand here, Pisces, that this ending that's happening in your life, it's being divinely guided. It's it's in divine timing. It's in spirit's hands, okay? In God's hands, as they say. There is an energy of betrayal, an energy of loss, okay? But there's also an energy of healing. Finding the balance, okay? Finding the internal balance. Be very practical with how you proceed. Don't try to rush things, okay? Don't try, try and um, miss lessons, miss opportunities. Honestly, I know it's so cliche and it's like a meme on Facebook and all the stuff. But Pisces, you have to feel it to heal it. get a soul journey message sum up your reading thank you guys so much for all the love and support thank you for liking subscribing sharing the content you guys are all freaking amazing if you found this message has been helpful resonating with your situation please give it a thumbs up all the love and support is very much appreciated it does help with the growth of the channel getting the message out there so thank you guys so much for that you are all freaking amazing. I am going to do an extended version to the reading, guys. If it's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. All the links are below. In the extended version, we'll take a little bit deeper look into the energies. We'll see if there's anything hidden that you need to be made aware of. We will also look at what do they truly want from all of this manipulation. Okay. And the outcome if the advice is followed walking away and healing right it's all going down in the extended version the links are all below perseverance i know that i can do whatever i set my mind to as a soul you are on a mission in this physical dimension you're the only one who knows the correct path 
your intuition is your connection to spirit. It's also your compass. You have the power to stay the course and you're stronger and more determined than you might first think. In order to experience many successes in life, you must mature and realize the strength within yourself and the quality of inner courage. Life doesn't just happen, we must make it happen. It is natural for us in this human school to shy away from what we believe to be difficult because we concern ourselves with how others will perceive us. We're afraid of failure, ridicule, or coming up short. Now is the time to make the proper change, take the risks, and do the things you never thought you could before. Your soul must learn to become aware of its inner strength. Live the joyfulness your soul yearns for and engage in activities you've always wanted to try but were afraid of. Your soul would not yearn for something that you couldn't accomplish. You have the strength and the fortitude to be capable of greatness. Pisces, I feel here an energy of you are staying for some particular reason and that's not necessary. Trust me when I say your children will thank you for not staying in an abusive relationship. Full of four truths message out for you, Pisces. Sum up your reading. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. Pisces, your four truths message coming out for your reading is do your always do your best do your best to become what you want to do your best when you are enjoying the action or doing it in a way that you will not have negative repercussions for you you do your best because you want to do it not because you have to do it not because you're trying to please the judge not because you're trying to please other people do your best because you want to beautiful pisces so pisces i feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this month thank you guys so much for all the love and support thank you for liking subscribing sharing the content you guys are all amazing again if you want to get in on the extended version the links are all below otherwise thank you guys again and i look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon namaste